It's another beautiful day right here on the Insider Podcast and welcome. This is the Daily Headline Newspaper Update. I am Kayode Sonny and today is Thursday the 4th of July 2024 and with me I have the Nation Newspaper, Business Day, Vanguard, The Punch and The Guardian Newspaper. Starting off the day from the front page of The Punch Newspaper with this banner headline on page 2, 10 hour rainfall, businesses grounded. House collapses as flood overtakes Lagos with rider. Seven rescued from collapsed building. Flood induced traffic disrupts movement in Lagos. Open. And now to page 22. National Assembly scores federal government low on budget implementation. On page 21. $1.5 billion oil sector divestment deals completed, says federal government. On page 10. Customs intercept 1.6 billion Naira military wares rifles from Turkey. On page 21, labor, private sector protest as this cause high tariff again. Okay, on page 10, Southeast leaders step up moves to free Inamdi Kano. On page 5, father, son remanded for allegedly stealing 75 million Naira from Lagos firm. On page 22, Senate probes $4 billion refineries repairs as it does diesel import. And those are all the headlines from the front page of the Punch newspaper. Now moving on to the Nation newspaper for today. On page 2, customs and pounds, guns, drones, others at MMIA. With rider, items shipped from Turkey, one suspect held. On page 4, Gada, federal lawmakers not earning jumbo pay. Band A, electricity consumers tariff now 209 naira 50 kobo per kilowatt. And that's on page 28. Now moving on to other newspapers. Uh, this one from the front page of the Guardian newspaper. On page 6, the banner headline, Circular Economy Worries as E-Waste Import Rise More Nigerians Resort to Used Items. And on page 4, NERC raises tariff for band A by 1.3% amid calls for reduction. On page 4, Senate rejects motion to probe security funds used for yacht others. On page 5, again, customs intercepts 1.6 billion naira worth rifles, military fatigues from Turkey. On page 5, rise in import FX rates spiked duty charges by 200,000 naira in 24 hours. On page 4, EFCC accuses public servants of diverting MDAs on spent allocations. And on page 29, I didn't discuss Kano's release of Basson just says. And on page 8, on the Metro page, school pupils swept away, commuters stranded, properties scum- submerged in Lagos or go downpour. On page 6, minimum wage, NLC fumes at governors move to hijack negotiations. And now to the Vanguard newspaper for today on page 5, healthcare crisis, high cost of drugs to persist as local production flops with riders, only 25% of drug consumed in Nigeria produced locally, 70% drug importation puts more pressure on forex and importation responsible for high cost of drugs, pharmaceutical sector unique, deserves special policies, says PMG man. Uh, delete import duty levy to ensure our survival at the ocean. Federal government will introduce reforms utilized in petroleum sector ACPN. And to other stories on the front page of the Guardian, and this one on page six. Unibent students block Benin Lagos Road over power outage. And on page twenty, discourse hike band A tariff by one point three percent to two hundred and nine naira point five. Ki- at 200 naira, 5 kobo per kilowatt. On page 13, terrorist kidnap Kaduna George Kilson demand 300 million naira ransom. On page 29, lamentations, chaos as flood grounds Lagos. And to so some other stories, on page 30, CBN warns banks against rejecting dirty mutilated naira notes. On page 37 of the sports page, Morocco 2025 draw. Super Eagles to no opponents today. And we've seen this one on page 10. Face off or your CP brokers. Peace between Shaun, Chief Imam. And lastly, on the front page of the Business Day newspaper, the banner headline, Nigeria slams 7.5% VAT on $57 billion 
crypto dollar crypto market proceeds. And on page four, Disco's further raise ban a electricity tariff blame operating costs. On page two, Afrexim Bank plans $25 billion share capital raise to trigger continent's growth. On page two, federal government eyes $1 trillion economy withdrew with new financial inclusion framework. And lastly, on page four, federal government approves any divestment of Nigerian subsidiary to Oando. And those are all the headlines from the front page of the newspapers for today. It has been a pleasure having you join in today again. Please don't forget to send in your reaction or comments to the news stories below this box in the comment and answer section. Thank you for tuning in once again. I am Kayo Sony. See you next time.